Britain's popular medical drama, ER, that truly shot her to stardom. Have a little look at this, please. Hey, Zeke, I didn't get a chance to finish dressing your cut. Don't come over here. You know, it's the middle of the day, and it's a crowded street, and you'll probably end up landing on a bunch of tourists. Look at this. Can you take it? I don't live up to my end of the deal. You inject that into your vein, and your heart will stop beating. Are you nuts or something? I just know what it's like to be out on a ledge. So why don't you just please, just please come back here, OK? Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Maura Tierney. No need to ask. She's a smooth operator. Maura Tierney. Uh-huh. Top of the morning to uh -huh. you. How are you? I mean, you know what I mean? You actually just went Irish there. You said, how are you? I did. That's good. <laughs> I've been practicing. You're getting the hang of this uh -huh. sort of thing. You've been, of course, you've been here before. I have. You like coming here. You like, I love coming You like here. our music, our culture, mm -hmm. don't you? What, what, what brought you here before? I've been here, uh, I, I was here several times. The last time I was here, I, I saw U2 in Croke Park. Oh, you're a fan? You're I a came. music fan, aren't you? Yes, I'm a huge music fan, a huge U2 fan. And it was so great, because I think it was the first time they had played here in like, 2,000 years. Okay. 2,000 years, yeah. so it was a big deal. That's great, so, so yeah. you're, you're a fan of theirs. and I like to come here whenever they do, so, like they're releasing an album, right? Maybe yes, I'll come here. Every did. time you two does something important, I'll come to Dublin. You're, you're, you're stalking Bono. You're, well, who isn't? Well, I mean. No, I'm not. <laughs> come here, what about uh, traveling beyond Dublin? There's one thing coming to Croke Park and to see you two and what have you. Have mm -hmm. you been beyond? Have you traveled? I've been beyond. I've been uh, uh, in a lot of different parts of the country. The time before that, um, I came with a bunch of friends for New Year's. We stayed in a little town called Clahan, I believe it's called. Right, okay, beautiful. But near Dingle. Yeah. And that, the, the thing about the last time I was here, there was, there was a road to go from Clahan to get into Dingle called the Connor Pass. The Connor Pass. Yes. <laughs> Beware of the dragons that lie beneath That's the Connor. That's what it was like, though. I'm was not it a bit like you. that? And I was elected driver because I can do it. I can drive on the, you know, we drive on the other side of the road. So I, I, I'm, for some reason, very good at it. Yes because everyone else would like clip. We clipped so many mirrors off so many cars, like all over the place. Oh, I did huh? We left a note every time. Yeah, I bet you did. That's a whole lot of paper, Maura. <laughs> we did. Yeah. But everyone would be like, be careful of the Connor Pass. You have to drive the Connor Pass. And I'd be driving the Connor Pass, like this white knuckling it across the Connor Pass. But I made it. You made it? Yeah, several times back and forth. That's great. It sounds yeah. like an Irish folklore tale. It was, it's a little scary. More around the Connor Pass, a children's yeah. story. <laughs> um, where are the tyrannies from? Because it does have the, the tyrannies of Tierney and Og. I mean, it's, an, it's a good name. Where did it come from? Leitrim. Leitrim. Yes, have my you, grandparents have are Have you investigated Leitrim. your genealogy? Or I have not investigated it too much. You just don't care. I just um. don't care. No, um, I do care. My, I don't know, my grandmother sort of left and stayed in Boston, so I, she didn't remain so close to her family, so I haven't really met them. Okay, and when there you... There could be someone in the audience here. Any Tierney's in the audience cousin. so far? Anyone's yeah. my cousin? No. They're, oh, they're, oh, they're there all right, they're just not claiming. Uh, uh, that could be too. What about going up there? Because of the mirrors, I clipped the mirrors. Yes, <laughs> they're, right. so, and they're still angry. <laughs> there she is, the mirror clipper from, <laughs> from Boston. From Claude. <laughs> Every time watching you are going, there she is again, I'll get her. <laughs> but when you were growing up more, I mean, Boston, of course, famously Amer Irish-American yeah. part of the world, and, and was there like a whiff of the shamrock off? Your, your house? There was, not my house, my grandmother's house. Yeah. And she lived in South Boston, which is like everybody's, everybody there is of Irish descent, Irish yeah. Catholic. So being there, you know, St. Patrick's Day was a big deal and there were lots of parties and the music and a cup of tea, a cup of tea, a cup of tea. Oh, you got yeah. the Mrs. Doyle treatment. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Yeah. The minute you go into my grandmother's apartment, it was like, you want a cup of tea? So if you were like two and a half or three years old, you would get a cup of tea. So. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That she didn't need a passport. She, once you say, offer people tea repeatedly, you're Irish. It's, oh, okay. it's, it's, so it's a given. Good. So, you know, the Abbey from your connection, uh -huh. you know, everyone will, a lot, most people know you as, the, as that character from, from your. And when you went into that medical drama, clearly. Yeah. Did you. Did you brush up on the medical world, or did you just go into it as an actress rather than? A, I you know? I didn't care about it. Just like my family. No, I'm kidding. I <laughs> <laughs> if they die, they I die. Don't care. No, um, I did. In the beginning, I cared a lot. You're you backtracking. I don't believe. No, no, no. Yet. It's true. I bought medical manuals for myself. I mean, they'll give you some stuff, but I did a lot of research in the beginning. I, I did. You're giving me the 
I just don't believe Harry Hairy eyeball. No, I really did. The hairy eyeball? Yeah, like that. Um, <laughs> What's a hairy eyeball? It's like, huh? Oh, that. <laughs> like, really, Tierney? Really? See, my Botox wore off, so I can now do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're the. <laughs> I did it. I said it on TV. Um, You're the first American guest here to A, admit you had Botox, <laughs> and B, to admit it's wearing off. <laughs> Normally, if it wears off, I think it ends up down around your ankles. That's right. <laughs> I shouldn't have got the Botox. I <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I did. I did. Uh, forget about that. Uh, okay, no, yeah, um, no. no. I did. Did you, did you did. get Botox? I did. Did you? How was it for you? I didn't enjoy it. No. Well, no one else could understand or could, could uh, believe you if you got the joke or not. I, I, <laughs> Wait, I don't get No it. reaction. Is that what it was? No, it's gone. No, it's gone. I, I can do it. No, you're very... I, I'm loving the expressions tonight. Uh, both of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I that's... want one of those, too, at some point. What, the drummer or the kit? The <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're here all week. All right. Okay. Uh, did but you, I did do my sorry. research. Yes. Did and you then ever... it gets easier because then you get you learn the terms and you sort of you learn as you go. You know you don't really learn, but you you learn. So yeah. I, I, I was less diligent in year eight than I was in year one. Did you ever have to have occasion to put any of that to, uh, into practice? I did. I mean, uh, many times I thought I did. Like the annoying thing about it is you think you know stuff. So like if your friends are sick, you like ask them really detailed questions that I wouldn't really know what it means if they answer it. Like I, but I did diagnose my husband's, uh, my ex-husband's appendicitis. Yes. So and what did real. you diagnose it as, given that he's appendicitis. your ex-husband? Appendicitis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've got a very, very, oh, you're going to die. <laughs> you're really sick. No. <laughs> no, you're really no, the sick. The mean thing would have been to say, oh, you're fine. There's nothing wrong. Don't go to the hospital. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Appendix. Um, but I did know, I, he, he was like, you're crazy. And I was like, no, because he had a fever and he had like lower abdominal pain. He had yeah. what's called rebound tenderness. Hmm? Well, most ex-husbands have that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Where is it coming from? <laughs> <laughs> did you just call that? Get your own show. I know. <laughs> okay, we move yeah, on. The director. Let's talk about Luca, uh, your love yes. interest on screen, of course. Gorin, because yes. um, I thought you said Boren. No, Goran. Yeah, no, His I got name you. is Goran. I know that. Okay. Um, and uh, because it became, no, that wasn't bitchy. That was just <laughs> an affirmation of the knowledge. Oh, come on. I love her. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, that, that romance attracted a lot of interest from yeah. viewers, and so much so, I think you got your own, on, you, that, you got the Brangelina treatment. On the you? online, the, there's a little online community. What is it called? The Luby, 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 yeah. the Lubies. It's, the, it's Luca meets Abby. Luca meets Abby, the Luby Appreciation Society. Yeah, um, that, that sounds normal. And there. <laughs> on, you know, online community to me is kind of reeks of Jim Jones. It's true. It's true. Well, no, it's really sweet. They're really invested in the. Sweet. Because there was another thing when I was with John Carter called the Carbies. Oh. I liked the Lubies better was, than was the Carbies. Was that another online community? Yes. Okay. Well, that's my word. I don't really know. Maybe they actually get together in person. I don't know. Well, I'm sure so they, they called they the head writer, the writer that created the storyline of getting me and Goran together, they called him Lord Luby. <laughs> How do they feel about the direction of the storyline then? When things went pear-shaped. They didn't like it at all. Nobody liked it. When things went pear-shaped with me and that character, it was, I, I never got such a big response from people on the street. Like they would, they, one woman said, you make me want to throw up right now because I cheated on him. Like yeah. I was out shopping or whatever. And she, like That's people nice. got really mad. Did yeah. she throw up? No. Um, <laughs> you had, when, you're, when Abby was pregnant on the show, uh -huh. uh, was that difficult to play the part of a yeah. pregnant woman? Because you probably have to... Well, the have prosthetic a... was difficult. Or oh, they didn't just use a pillow, no? They... they didn't just use a pillow, and there was several prosthetics for the different sizes, and there, it was quite realistic, which was great, but it was like a huge harness that you have to step into, and it goes over. It's kind of rubber? It's rubber, and it's heavy, because they wanted to make 